Hello and welcome to this small series of beginners videos to InstaDub. A few of you have written to me and said the getting started videos were a bit quick, were a bit too much details, that you want an absolute beginner's guide. And this is my attempt at it. Um, I do want to say, do get in contact if you have any questions on the video. If you have any feedback on whether this video was too basic, was it still too complicated, um, these videos are made for you. Um, you can contact us via the email, support at rootjazz.com, via the forum, rootjazz.com slash forum. So yeah, let me know how you find them. So here is the program. This is the full view of the program, um, all the actions you can perform. Now, you may be aware, you may not, that there is a new feature in the program, which is a promo view. This has also come about due to um, feedback from our new users. They didn't want to set up all their actions themselves, they just wanted very simplified view of where they can run actions which will follow and like profiles and media and post images. Also we heard that rather than set up specific actions for following, liking, user just wanted to input hashtags, similar accounts, explore locations and have the program follow and like, filtering, searching without the complications, have it all that hid away. So here is the promo view. And in the promo view, the main option is the promo, the promo module. Here you can see, I already have the screen set up. I just made a 30 minute long tutorial going into all the information on, on this promo module. But for this basic one, we're gonna keep it simple. This module allows you to enter your hashtags. I've called it keywords here. I'll probably change that to hashtags. I am running an account which I use for promoting a music software we have. So I have entered some hashtags with some popular music genres here. I've also entered some similar accounts. As you can see, you can use various formats. You can enter the URL if you like to use URLs. You can also enter the mention at username. Similar with hashtags. If you, by default, your fingers put hashtag, then the tag, then by all means, or just put the tag itself. This is explore locations. If you don't know what explore locations are, it might be an idea to not worry about it. Um, if you do, and you do want to action on images from specific locations, enter them here. If you don't know them, the program can scrape them for you. So you would enter a location, an address, a club, a bar, a football stadium, um, your business, it may be in here, if it's got a location, your place of work, uh, maybe a shopping mall. Um, depending on your account and what you are doing, this may be relevant or not. So we'll put in New York, New York. We'll click scrape. Wait a few seconds. The program is then checking with Instagram what some explore locations are that meet. So we have New York, we have Times Square, the famous place in New York, Brooklyn. Um, check them, click OK, and they are now added here automatically. So this is the explore location, this is the explore ID. So now what will happen is the program will run searches based on hashtag, similar accounts and the explore locations and it will find images and profiles and it will follow them and like them. If you just want to like them, uncheck follow. If you just want to follow, check follow. And you can also comment on them. If you are an absolute beginner, I recommend you do not comment until you understand how commenting works on the problems it may cause you. 
I'd also recommend you keep unfollow checked, daily stats checked, and unlike checked. These will just create additional actions for you. The daily stats will scrape your stats every day, your followings, your conversions, your followers. Unlike will, unlike images you've liked after seven days, similar to unfollow, you'll unlike the profiles you have followed after seven days. I'd recommend keeping it effective and leave it on safe. Effective is where we will like and follow the same. So if we have an image, we will like the image and follow the profile that posted the image. If we have a profile, we'll follow the profile and like their most recent image. Wider just means we will follow and like different profiles, different media. That means we'll be interacting with more accounts over a daily period. Um, I find effective better. It doesn't really matter. You have your limits. We're going to be doing 80 follows a day and 200 likes a day. You can change it. Do not put big amounts. Do not think the more you do, the better. Um, it can get you temporary blocks. Stick to these values whilst you get to understand the program. We can come in later and change them. Filter. We can specify values here for our filter. If you understand filtering, set it. If you don't, for now, just leave it as it is for default. Um, you can see the filtering information in the documentation in the specific filter tutorial. Or play around with it and it will all make sense. If not, post your questions to the forum and I'm happy to answer them. So this is the like filter. This would be the user filter. Um, just going to put the default values back in. As I said, I set it all up for my previous tutorial. Um, one thing I have found is don't follow people if they have less than 100 followers. Um, the follow back ratio, the conversion ratio is a lot better if you do. Again, um, basically just do as I'm telling you if you don't understand any of it. Um, another thing, ignore words. If you know specific words which you want to ignore, um, perhaps your hashtags are dual meaning. You may want to ignore adult um, porn terms, perhaps, um, or, or whatever. You just may want to ignore certain words for the profiles. So you can set them here. Similarly for the media as well. The media, the images, videos. When all is done, check your account. I assume you've added your account. There is very straightforward add account tutorial videos. If you are having trouble adding the account, get in contact, um, email or via the forum. When all is ready, click create promo. Come to the promo tab. You might have to click run. Mine is already running. Um, and here we go. Here we go, ignoring some things here. Um, and the program is just running through it. Um, it's going to run the stats scraper. So here we go, running the stats, checking for any new conversions. We found two new users which have followed us recently. That was from my old use of the program. And that's it, really, how you can set up a simple promo module. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you found it useful. Do come to the forum, rootjazz.com slash forum. Post any questions, give me some feedback on the video, what you would like to hear or like to see covered. Um, if, you, if you found it useful, if you didn't, all useful information. Thanks for watching.